we've always seen this drill. We've seen this drill a lot, right? Where we get like this look here and then turn. People yeah. always wonder, well, what do they do from here? Yeah. I think today we, we really work past the takeaway. And you can still see I'd still stop right there, right. but I'm just going past that just to where the club it. is. I'm moving my left shoulder to move my hands back. Yeah. I'm turning you know, on this plane right here of my shoulders. Yeah. I want the club to set along that plane as well, right? So yeah. I'm just really trying to feel everything moving in the same direction there. So if you want to know exactly how his wrists are moving here, let's, let's, let's really get close here. Mm -hmm. He's pushing his left shoulder to move his hands back. And this is what we worked on. He's pushing down on the heel pad yeah. of his of his hand slightly into the handle at the same pace the shoulder is moving the hands right. back. So that hinge is happening at the same pace as his turn. Do not leave hinging it isolated of the turn. Do not leave having the hands faster than the body. It's together. Yeah. It's together. Many people will actually think push down and what they do is they, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you want to keep your head or chin on a glass tabletop. You want to keep the knife right at the sides of your temple, right? right? To where when you push down, you're still keeping yourself centered and that keeps the spine angle still. That keeps right. the width. If you push down with it, you're, you're not really keeping the distance between here and there the same. And clubs at an angle. Here's an angle here. This angle, even if the club was just turned back with no hinge, would still be somewhat of an angle. Now, with downward pressure right here, as I turn them away, well, that club fully sets, so there's no active hinge happening there where he's trying to pull the club up. It's just a little bit of his hands staying low and the club going up, which makes it look like the club setting like that. It happens below the belt and above it. Yeah. Below the belt is simply that set position. Yeah. Above it's just the turn. Setting below the belt. Setting below the belt. Yeah. Huge for everybody to understand, setting below the belt. Here's belt high. It's like you're pushing that beach ball below the level of the water, okay? That keeps the hands low, keeps the width, keeps the connection, creates the leverage, and we can keep turning the top. It's more one motion that way. The early swings looked probably a little, like shoulder plane wise, probably flatty. A, a little bit. My shoulders are, rel you know, it's like a T-spine, right? Relative right. to my spine or here. Yeah. I want to keep them on, yeah. on the plane they right. start off with. Yeah, yeah. And, and for you, you know, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, because I go. Yeah, they get like that. And when your shoulders get up like that. Yeah. The, club's the club rolls a little it, bit. Yeah. Butt of the club points over the ball. And then you get a little bit lifty. So where that to steep transition yeah. comes from is still a little bit of that lift with the arms right. and just not enough of this feeling here. Remember the back of the left shoulder really pushing that arm back there. That was big yeah. for you. Last week we were doing this a lot and he would really get like this look like that. Today we're going to try to blend that into one nice motion. You feel that? Yeah. Where it's just blending and down the line but then yeah. setting right up the plane, right? Right. That's great, buddy. That's so much better right there. Yeah, yeah. beautiful, beautiful. Really good. Shoulders. Imagine there's an imaginary line across the shoulders here. I want the arms to be as perpendicular out here yeah. as possible to them. Right. Now listen, if they're here and it's a little past, that's fine. Yeah. It's fine, it's from my yeah. get. But right. it's just your, your effort to keep them right out in front of your body there. Yeah. Do that one more time for anybody. This is what he yeah. just did before the camera panned over. Yep, just feeling it, right? Look at the chest guys, how it's the hands are directly out in front of it. You know, sternum's looking right at the hands. So for him, at that point, he's already pretty loaded. I mean, people would say this is a half swing. That's right. a three-quarter swing three right quarter. there. You're ready, yeah. you're pretty much loaded and ready to go. Yeah. I mean for me that feels like should feel like a full swing. You're right. Since my arms tend to get way up. It's beautiful, dude. That's got to feel so much better. Yeah. And what's great about it is, too, is that your arms are so much more with your body. So what I'm noticing through impact, you have so much less of that club face rotating over yeah. to try to square up the face and save right. it. Yeah, you don't have that anymore. It looks no. like the club face is so much more stable through impact. Yeah. Okay, there's, here's the line of your feet right here and where you're going. If that club gets here and I turn sideways, yeah. I always tell bears, that, that, that's the amount of degrees that you already have to, to do something yeah. to get it back on track. Right. You then add 
a little bit of a lift to it, you know, <laughs> and then all of a another... sudden, all of a sudden, you know, you turn this way. Well, that's how far everything's behind you and the club's behind you right there. Right. So, you know, it's a great way to visualize it. It's like it. a double whammy. Absolutely. Ready? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, that's always the one. Yeah, so I'm just trying to, honestly, I'm just trying to blend this left arm feel to the set point. What do you feel in that move? Do you feel like the back of your arm, back of your shoulder pushes it away? For sure. Okay. 100%. And then I just try to blend it with two hands. And just Perfect. feel that same thing. And then I just, for me personally, I just like going from that point. Yeah, good. Just to feel it. People are probably wondering why the Niners head covers in here. I mean, just, you know, that was that was something simple that we do with all of our players. You put it up in the front, guys, not, not underneath, like, down here where it pins the arm back there, makes it worse. We're up in the front right here, close to the pack, the bicep, and that just keeps that elbow here. It keeps it here in the swing. And this is unbelievably important to understand. Your arms are not going this way in the golf swing. It's right here. Watch. It's just the ability to keep it there as you turn. And that's, that's what that does. It, does. it makes the body turn more to get the yeah. arms back there and keeps this arm rotated the proper way. People would call that external shoulder rotation. I call it like the elbows rotating in towards the golf yeah. ball. Yeah. Hey, these are great swings. Great okay. swings. Here's the thing. I'm a little bit curious, though, when you get to like a six iron, five iron on what happens here, on what happens here. A great tip for everybody, like by the way, seven iron. is you keep the wedge out. Yeah. And you take a you wedge swing in between yeah. every five, seven irons or six right. irons. And you just say, okay, like my, my dad did that to me all the time. He'd go, hey, same speed, same length. Yeah. You know, and it would always be a little bit longer. Right. <laughs> but it was more connected. And I got yeah. the picture. It was like, it was an easy way to just, to not have to hear something, but just to feel something. Just and, to feel it, yeah. yeah. Um. I mean, that's significantly better, dude. Yeah. You know, I, I almost wish sometimes I could sit people, sit all my students down, give them a lesson on how to take a lesson. <laughs> you know? Yeah. I mean, seriously, a lesson on how to take a lesson. Because, yeah. you know, you come, and I've had a chance to watch so many of them. There's, there's so many, you know, I know my personality. Always wanting to just get it done, let's go. Yeah. It, it took me a lot of um, discipline to be able to slow myself down and be okay with just hitting half shots and not right. having a glamorous range recession. Yeah. But you know, it just comes with maturity sometimes too and defining why you're out there that moment. 